The US and its partners allow Ukraine to launch long-range strikes against Russia. The Kremlin may use more powerful countermeasures. The New York Times writes, citing an assessment by U.S. intelligence. In particular, U.S. intelligence agencies believe that Russia could likely respond with greater force against the U.S. and its allies, possibly with deadly attacks. Intelligence officials also downplay the impact that long-range missiles will have on the course of the war since the Ukrainian military currently has a limited number of weapons, so it is unclear how much longer Western allies will be able to support the country in the war. At the same time, American officials who spoke on condition of anonymity told the New York Times that it is not yet clear what decision U.S. President Joe Biden will make on this issue. In addition, American intelligence officers described possible actions of the Russian Federation in the event of permission to strike Ukraine at long distances with American and European-made missiles on its territory. In particular, Russia may increase the number of arson attacks and sabotage at facilities in Europe and carry out potentially deadly attacks on American and European missile bases. In turn, intelligence believes that even if such permission is granted, the Russians after the first strikes will most likely move ammunition depots, command posts, combat helicopters and other important objects beyond the reach of missiles. The Times reported that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will return from the United States without achieving the lifting of a ban on strikes deep into Russia with Western weapons. The newspaper pointed out that during a meeting with US President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, the Ukrainian leader personally asked to lift restrictions on strikes with British Storm Shadow and American ATACMS missiles on Russia. However, no shift in Washington's stance on the use of long-range missiles was announced, the newspaper said. Instead, according to the Times, Democratic presidential candidate Harris, standing next to Zelensky, began talking about her political rival in the upcoming election, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. The Ukrainian effort comes as NATO remains divided on aspects of its approach to the war with Russia particularly on the use of long-range weapons that could escalate the conflict. Ukraine is already using long-range missiles, fighter aircraft and other high-grade weaponry provided by its Western allies to hit Russian targets in Crimea and other occupied areas inside Ukraine. At least three people died and six others injured on Friday after a Russian airstrike hit the regional police department in the Ukrainian city of Krivi Rih, officials said. According to State Emergency Service of Ukraine, dozens of residential buildings, including an educational establishment, were damaged by the airstrike. Artillery units in the Ukrainian city of Pokrovsk are aiming to destroy Russia's weapons and supply routes as the strategic city continues to be shelled by enemy forces. The commander of Artillery Battery, 15th Brigade, Danilo told British broadcaster Sky News that the city was becoming increasingly difficult to defend as the enemy increases their production every day. Russia's forces are seeking to advance into the city given that it is an important supply hub for Ukrainian forces, according to reports. Homes and buildings in the city have been destroyed, and some left derelict. Resident Hanna told Sky that it felt like people don't matter to anyone and that the fighting had turned Pokrovsk into a dead city. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris in Washington on Thursday. The talks were part of Zelensky's push to get the U.S. to allow his troops to use long-range weapons to strike deeper into Russia. But the Kremlin sent a strong, new warning to the West this week. 
President Vladimir Putin said that any nation's conventional attack on Russia that was supported by a nuclear power would be considered a joint attack on his country. Стався вчора о 5 годині вечора. У нас після цього було зруйноване помешкання людей. Вчора наша автівка загнала ворожу обстрілу. В неї потрапила ворожа так званий FPV-дрон. Але, на щастя, наші рятувальники залишились цілими.